Fox. Okay. Uh, six and nine. We have an electric fence monitoring system that will monitor the condition of your electric fence. You have the fence walls that comes down the fence, goes through, enters our sections. That determines whether or not the strength of that fence walls. And then it'll send it over to the base station, and Gabriel can talk about that. Okay. Uh, here, uh, we receive a signal that comes uh, from the transmitter to the receiver. So uh, when this device boots, it will blink blue lights indicating that the device has turned on. So it has capability to detect uh, if the devices are transmitting. So uh, for example, this one right now is off. So this LED has not gone on yet because it's not active. Once it detects the transmission, you will see them like this. And we have different colors and LED levels to indicate uh, what's going on with the fan. So if you see it full green, it means that it's fully operational. If it is uh, yellow, then it's more like a warning status. And then when it is red, it's emergency. And if you take it down right now, it will activate the buzzer and then it will let you know that it's reading down out of the fence. So uh, can you turn it on? So uh, do get the signal back on and turn off the LED. Right now it lost transmission with uh, device number three. So it start flashing at the last status. So if we reset right now, since this one is off, it's not transmitting, so it is not active. So all the other LEDs will come back while this one doesn't. Also, we can switch power between uh, the USB port and the battery. So the main supply is the <laughs> USB port. Uh, if we take right now the power, it will drain all the current out of the battery, the backup battery. So you won't lose operation. Then we take it back online and it should stop draining current out of the battery. Uh, at the beginning, of the development, we were planning to have an email notification system, which we have developed some Visual Studio code for it, which actually can read information out of the serial port. Uh, it will know the ID of the uh, things, the level, and also message indicated like battery status. So that's available for future <laughs> development. Uh, it also have the email notification system, which is a class that in the C sharp code that will allow to send email between the application and the administrator email. Uh, also, this board is not doing it right now because it will need to have a chip that translates uh, between the Admega chip and the USB port, so you need that translation to the USB standard. Thank you very much.